So I got hands on with Apex Legends Season 7 and today I bring you the lowdown on what to expect from this season and what it offers and well guys it's easily in my opinion the best season yet. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So Apex Legends Season 7 is out and if you want details on what's new and what's on offer you have come to the right place. So where to start because this season brings many new things like the map for instance, a new legends, vehicles and more. But let's start with the map, Olympus. And well, in my opinion, it's an insane improvement over King's Canyon and World's Edge. It's super polished in design, it's very vertical and extremely modern. It's a breath of fresh air and it's one of those maps people you just love exploring and checking out and it does behold some interesting new features. So this floating artificial city from the future beholds many interesting spots for combat, from close quarters to wide open spaces. For instance, the Reverie Lounge is a spot where high tier loot can be found, but it's located at the top of this building where you can either land here from that drop ship or use two zip lines which travel from the bottom to the top via two elevator chutes. But be warned, this area is tight and compact and is limited with routes to escape. So you will for sure find other players here after that high tier loot. So if you go here people, expect a battle. Also for those who might be wondering, this is the same place Revenant killed Loba's parents. So you guys like that lore? This map has plenty of it. Underneath this reverie land is the Banzai Plaza which is the crown jewel of this map Olympus. This place consists of four areas players can easily hold down each. So there's going to be some interesting battles here for sure. Another real super interesting area which was the highlight of my session with just how unique it was is the rift. So the rift is a large area which used to be used for research before the city was abandoned. The rift area consists of three main camps of areas on the ground with a fourth up high. The main landmark of this area is an unstable rift which if you jump into or go near you'll be pulled into it and you'll be then sent flying along the spine of the phase runner which is by the way an industrial size portal that connects three areas of Olympus, one being this rift area. So some seriously interesting spots people for you to check out. So what else is new with season 7 and this map? Well guys you've obviously experienced those zipline balloons to travel about the map in previous seasons, but with season 7 Respawn have introduced the Trident. This is a new vehicle which can hold 3 players and allows you to travel across that map much quicker. But vehicles you might be thinking seem as though they could be OP, well they have made sure that this is definitely not the case. While you are in this vehicle you have limited boost with a cooldown and while speeding around that map damage the trident takes will be spread equally among the players riding it. And trust me people it's a great feature to travel around the map but it's nothing overpowered. Plus you can't run over people and kill them either. So enough with a map as epic as it is, let's check out the new legend in Horizon. Now Horizon and the lore behind this super unique character. Nearly a century ago the Outlands suffered from a terrible energy crisis. Charmingly eccentric astrophysicist Dr Mary Somers theorised the solution was Branthium, an element only found on the excretion disk of a black hole. She left her husband and son behind on Olympus to prove it. Horizon was right but it cost her everything. She was betrayed and left to die in the time slowing grasp of the black hole's orbit. Using her brain she modified her robot companion Newt to escape, 87 years too late. Now Horizon is entering the game to earn enough money to find a way to travel back in time to be with her son. Fortunately she's developed some powerful gravity altering tech to help her along the way. Horizon's custom spacesuit allows her to fall from great heights and control her movement in the air. She can deploy gravity lifts to give her team a vertical boost and she can even deploy Newt to drop a micro black hole to suck opponents in and blast them with gravity. And she is quite the addition people, she's definitely one of my favourite characters now. 
Another new feature to Season 7 people is Clubs. Now Clubs is a place where you can build or find a group of up to 29 other people to play Apex Legends Season 7 with. If you create a club, you can create your very own unique logo to represent you and your group of players. And while this is a seriously unique addition, as it for the most part means you can group up with other members of your group and play Apex when you'd usually be playing solo. So if you want to build a mini community of players who share your own playstyle interests or even experience level, Clubs is for you with its own dedicated chat space too. Trust me people, it's a real cool addition. But yeah guys, the end of the video is near, but let's recap by saying this new season, season 7 is by far the best. It's the most unique and it brings by far the best new features this game has yet to see and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Oh, did I also mention crossplay is coming out of beta for season 7? And another great addition, Apex Legends is coming to Steam. And yes, progress between Steam and Origin can be shared. But yes guys, my thoughts after having early access to Season 7, it is incredible. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.